Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's New Gun Guy, aka Be More Tactical, coming at y'all with a gun collection video, man. I've been thinking about doing it for a while. Been going back and forth, man. You get a lot of feedback in the community, people saying, don't share what you have, don't share your collection. Fuck that. We're going to share it today. Um, you know, we can go through what I got. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the stuff I had only because it's, it's relevant to some of the purchases I've made. I've kind of swapped some stuff out, maybe sold some stuff and kind of got some a few different things, man. The crazy thing is I, I've only been into it for about a year. Um, I'm not a professional. Um, do not seek professional advice from me around firearms. I can talk to you about what I have and what I've kind of learned about them. Um, but that's that's really all I can do. Um, I'm also not a professional YouTuber, so I'm just going to wing this, man, and just kind of talk to y'all about some guns and shit. So let's get started. Um, first thing, man, I, um, I actually had an M&P shield. I uh, sold it just because I love the gun. Fantastic gun. If you're looking for a carry gun, you don't need to spend, you know, if you ain't trying to spend five, $600, like to grab a Glock 43 or some shit like that, man. The Smith & Wesson M&P shield, outstanding gun. But I just wanted something uh, so I could carry a little bit more capacity, right? I'm not a, a fan of trying to carry two, three extra mags and all of that. I want to have enough with me that I can get, you know, two, three people off of me if I need to, um, which actually put me in the market for this one. This is a Springfield Hellcat, man. It uh, comes with two mags, 11 rounds, and 13. Um, outstanding gun, man. The ergonomics on it's crazy. Uh, the texturing on the grip is outstanding. And uh, as you can see, uh, it came with the shield. I think it's RMSC, uh, red dot optic. You might can see it picked up a little bit there. There we go. There we go, baby. Um, otherwise, it already has tritium night sights. It's got the U-notch, I think is what they call the back. Um, obviously, it is uh, at a co-witness height, so you can see that through the uh, the optic. Outstanding carry option, man. Uh, because of this, I wouldn't really put it in my pocket. I wouldn't say it's going to fit comfortably anyway. Um, however, it's extremely easy to uh, to conceal. Uh, so it's one of my it's my carry right now that I'm using. Um, I also had a uh, Smith and West. I had a lot of Smith and Wesses, man. I say a lot. Not really. I had about three or four of them, but um, I also had a Smith and Wesson. Smith and Wesson. You gotta excuse my accent with the Smith, uh, but Smith and Wesson M and P Bodyguard 38. It was a uh, five shot uh, revolver, a hammerless, double action only. Um, I jumped out there like, man, I want a revolver, and I still feel like I need one in my collection. But I ended up selling it, man. Um, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. The double action pull on that shit was crazy. It's like eight nine pounds, um, and you know following up accurate follow-up shots uh, with that pull um, kind of threw me just as a new uh, beginner shooter. Um, so I, I still wanted something where I could operate a hammer and get kind of familiar with that platform or that format, so to speak. But um, but I wanted something that, uh, you know, had a decocker. I can do some single action mode shooting it as well. And so um, I ended up coming on this, coming across this, man. It's a CZ P07 um, Urban Gray. Um, notice everything I'm going to show you, I don't have mags in them, man, because uh, actually in this one, I haven't even loaded the mags. I just got it. Uh, but it comes with two seven, two seventeen round uh, because I think the standard PO7 um, come with 15s, but it's a plus two base plate on it, uh, which actually extends the grip a little bit. I'll show you all like that. Um, so as you can see, kind of got you got plenty underneath there. Um, I think uh, this one. Comes with a, a, um, a threaded barrel. Also has suppressor height night size. All right, so y'all know what that means. I'll throw a suppressor on there soon uh, once I feel like dealing with uh, that tag stamp and all that shit. But shoots nine millimeter. Um, got your hammer there. This is a decocker. It's uh, Ambi. It's one on both sides. You can actually swap that out for a safety if you want, but why would you want to do that? So, CZ P07. And this color, again, if anybody's interested, is the uh, Urban Gray. It's dope, man. <clears throat> um, bought a lot of Smith and Wesson and MPs. Um, sold a few. One of them I didn't, and I never will. This is my, uh, it's my baby, man. It's actually one of the favorite ones I have. I shoot this extremely accurately. Um, that uh, MMP 2.0 compact. You can tell it's 2.0 by the grip. 
also says it on the slide. This is the 3.6 inch barrel. Um, I do have uh, manual safety on there. That's Ambi. I know some people hate manual safeties. Um, I don't. doesn't bother me any, um, especially where this one is. It's natural to just come right out, you know, when you kind of get on it to uh, disengage it. So I think if you're going to have a manual safety, it should be like that. I do love Olight. Well, I have great products, man, and they don't break the bank to do it. This is the uh, PL Mini 2 Valkyrie. Might not be saying that right, but that's what it's called. By Olight, man. It's, Olight's pretty dope, and uh, every now and then they'll run like flash sales, and you can catch them. Um, I just ordered another one waiting for that one to come, and I ordered one that was in the uh, gunmetal gray this past week, and I think that regular price like $90, but I bought one for like $60. So you can catch a sale every now and then, but the M&P 2.0 Compact comes with two 15 round mags. Um, obviously, I got a light on it for obvious reasons. Some of y'all probably already know. It's my nice thing. Uh, use that and home defense to get to the big shit. Um, so I showed y'all a few of my pistols. Um, I don't have any Glocks, but I have something that shoot with Glock mags, man. No Glocks for me, but I got the uh, Caltech Sub 2000, man. Some of y'all, I'm sure a lot of y'all know what this is, man. Uh, this one used Glock 17 mags, uh, 15 rounds. But obviously, you know, for those who haven't seen one before, like, man, why the fuck do it look like that? Shit fold in half, bro. Unfold that shit. And uh, I still got the iron sights on it. But if you throw it in your book bags, people use it as a truck gun. I think it's just a fun, something just fun to go to the range and shoot, man. Or you can go outside and shoot and plank, man, wherever you live. Depends. You know, if you live in the city, obviously that ain't happening. But um, I'm from the city, but live in Georgia now. So I got some folks out here. You can go out and uh, shoot in the fields, man, and just have a field day with this shit. So instead of just running, you know, a rifle all day, just shoot 9 millimeter. We all know that's a little bit cheaper. It's the uh, Caltech Sub 2000. Um, you can get it in 9 millimeter, 40. Uh, they come with different mags. So some of them will do like Glock 19 if you want like a shorter grip. Um, they'll do like Glock 23 or 22 uh, mags, I believe. Well, this is 17 or 22, but, um, you know, some of them even actually fit uh, M&P magazines as well. So um, you might can kind of line it up with something you already have. That way the, the mags will be interchangeable. Uh, one other thing I kind of swapped out when I uh, first got into it, man, you know, everybody tell you you need a shotgun for home defense. You got to have a shotgun. Get a shotgun. So I'm like, oh, cool. I'll get a shotgun. I didn't get a shotgun. I ended up getting what's uh, referred to as a, what do they call it? Just a firearm. It's the Mossberg Shockwave. It's not categorized as a shotgun. And that bitch is nice. It's nice. It's fun to shoot. But it's a little funky to handle, man. And if you're really depending on it uh, for home defense, like you got to really practice with that. And uh, the shockwave, though, it's, you, you can really get around corners and move around. Not that I'm like some type of Navy SEAL. Um, it's a dope, dope firearm. But I wanted something with a stock on it that I can, you know, shoulder and actually control and shoot accurately in the event of an emergency. So I swapped that out. I still stayed in the Mossberg family. Got a Mossberg 500. But I added a little bit of something to that, man. This is... The uh, see what they officially call this the Mossberg 500 uh, with the ATI kit. I think it might say ATI on the back of that. It do um, I think they also call this the Mossberg Scorpion? Uh, Mossberg 500. This is in the forget the grade that they use, Dest destroyer gray, I think is what they call this man. And so, um, man, the grip is crazy, it's rubber, rubberized, that ain't a word, but. Uh, it takes a lot of that recoil for you, man, and that's uh, nice, thick, as you guys can see, rubber uh, stock on the back of that, man, just to kind of soften up, you know, your follow-up shots, man. It'll be easy. You can shoot this shit all day. As you guys can see, it's a heat shield on there. That bitch is beautiful, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You got the side saddle. Um, as you can see on the front, Picatinny rail. There's one on both sides. You want to throw your light up front. Uh, you got your heat shield. You got an iron sight. So you can get off some accurate shots. And the cool thing, man, if you look at the Picatinny rail on the top, that actually lines up with your sights in the front. So you got sight up top. If you want to throw your optic on there, man, and really get with it, you can do that. All these guns are unloaded, by the way, man. Uh, so I ain't touching the triggers. We notice. Keep my fingers out of the trigger well, man. So um, I ain't going through 
busting all these down and all that, man. Follow your gun safety, though. But this is my uh, Mossberg Scorpion or Tactical. Some people call it Mossberg Tactical by ATI. Uh, last one, man. Last one. We almost there, man. It is the uh, AR-15, and everybody has to have one. This is the uh, MMP Sport 2. I know a lot of people out there got one of these, man. It's... It's a very reliable rifle. It's easy to get into. It's easy to customize, man. And uh, Smith & Wesson did a great job. And if you're just kind of getting started, you may not want to spend $2,000 for Daniel Defense. I love to have one. Can't spend that kind of money right now. This joint comes with your, uh, you know, your M-Bus sights. Got a iron sight on the front. The backup flip-up sights in the back. I did add a uh, SIG Romeo 5 to this for red dot optic. Uh, you guys can see it right there and so you know i'm just kind of getting into it I, I did get this i don't know maybe eight months ago so i've sh shot it a few times man i just switched out some of the furniture as you guys can see for uh, the flat dark earth um as i'm getting more familiar with the platform i'm not as crazy about this anymore so i think i'm uh, when i feel like one day i'm gonna go ahead and take this off and just kind of get used to just kind of running with this. I, I've seen some of the uh, free free floating uh, handguards. I kind of like that style, but I think I'm going to get that once I add me an AR pistol. So I'm just going to kind of leave this kind of how it is, but I think I am going to take that off. But I mean, for basic AR-15 beginner rifle, man, I think it's pretty cool. And just learn how to... That shit crazy, but I ain't starting this video over. Um, it ain't nothing in it, though. And it's clear. It's clear. I hit the button, but uh, that's how we know it released mags well, though. Um, but, man, I, you know, just to kind of learn the platform, as you can see, still learning mags falling out and shit, but I'm not editing this because I'm not no YouTube guy. I'm not doing this shit over three, four times. But I like this joint, man. So I'm going to add an AR pistol to this. But here's the thing, man. I got something coming in. Y'all going to have to come back and check me out. I got to unbox, and I'm going to probably be doing it like another week. As soon as Cabela stopped playing with my order, I got a little something that's back order, and of course we know stock is crazy on different uh, items right now. But I did purchase something. I'm waiting for it to come in, and uh, y'all gonna check it out as soon as I get it back home. Um, so make sure you uh, like this video, man. Subscribe so you can kind of see uh, what I continue to add to the collection. And again, this is about a year in. I got an unbox. I'm gonna be doing in the next week or two for something real dope, and uh, I'm gonna add an AR pistol soon. Gonna get an AR pistol soon. I'm thinking about maybe trying to build it, uh, but otherwise, you know, I'm kind of looking for a few that I do like, and so soon I'm gonna be adding one to it, man. But come back, check me out, like and subscribe, and I'm gonna see y'all soon, man. I hope y'all like the collection. Peace.